take another deep breath in for me? The delicate delivery, a line of defense against COVID-19, has arrived in British Columbia. 4,000 doses are a shot of hope for so many in this province, but it begins with a caregiver. That's some reassurance for the families with loved ones in care homes. Many of these facilities have been infested by this pernicious infection. But Leslie Telford was hoping residents, like her mom, would be included in the first round of vaccinations. I would definitely feel safer. I would feel that uh, if residents are given the vaccine, they will have more freedoms and they deserve it. Many seniors in long-term facilities are confined to their rooms. There's little to no socialization, and visitors aren't allowed for long periods. It's for their protection, but it's been lonely. We've been locked down like a jail, Robin, and it, it, it will at least give us some hope that we can get life back to normal and give people quality of life in their homes. Caregivers and health care workers are at the front of the line because they bring the most risk to care homes. The idea is to create layers of immunity. We're hoping that this is going to make a big difference in the short term on the outbreaks that we're seeing and the transmissions in care homes, and that's the most important. Telford will definitely get the vaccine and hopes it will come soon. Families should maybe also be considered to receive vaccines so that there can be some safe visitation. Uh, no one wants to be bringing COVID into a long-term care facility. This is a momentous time, but there are still millions who have to wait for the jab in the arm to get back to whatever constitutes normal in these exceptional times. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver.